Vision, and it's all brought to you by Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing Live and exclusive on Sky Sports Box Office. Sponsored by Gaffabet, Lonsdale, and StubHub. Sanctioned by the BBB of C, Steward in Charge, Charles Giles. And the World Boxing Council, WBC Supervisor at Ringside, Mauro Betty. The three judges assigned from the United States, Bill Clancy. From Venezuela, Nicholas Hildago. From Scotland, Victor Laughlin. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, referee from England, Ian John Lewis. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the O2 Arena London, England, 10 rounds of boxing for the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue with white, official weight, 17 stone, 7 pounds, 1 ounce. His professional record consists of 29 victories, including 14 wins by knockout against 6 defeats. And in his 35 heavyweight contest, he has never been stopped. From the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia, USA, here is the challenger, Kevin. Joshua bring up stoppage number 13 does Kevin Kingpin Johnson live up to all those words and take this fella deep it's 10 rounds I said 12 earlier it's 10 rounds that's what it's scheduled for whether it goes that long remains to be seen and we're about to find out Joshua versus Kevin Johnson Johnson's been talking about Letting everybody know where he's been doing his training after the fight, but it's impossible to keep a secret in this business. He's been working with Peter Fury, Tyson's uncle. And the corner is being run by Clifton Mitchell tonight, who is also part of the, the Tyson Fury team. And Johnson just evading that right cross. Well, there's a chance that uh, Big EJ might learn a few tricks tonight because Johnson is really experienced. He knows his way around. You know, he knows when he is hooked, how to cover up, get through the odd crisis and so forth. You see him you know, showing little feints at Joshua. Who knows, maybe even like get a few shots through and test his chin out for us. But uh, we'll find out how much ambition he's brought with him as this one rolls along. Trying to double jab there as well, Johnson. And Joshua was talking this week as well, he said, we, the plan is got to try and bomb him out of there, break him down bit by bit because the record would suggest your ability. There's the first big right hand there, followed up by a left. And Johnson already in big trouble here. And just shrugs it to say, is that it? Is that the best you've got? But he was shaken, Jim. And there's a body shot coming in as Joshua continues to stalk him down and make this ring really small. See, I just feel that Joshua, when the time comes, will punch right through the defences of Johnson. I mean, that was a terrific right hand. Johnson doesn't have anything to keep Joshua off him. I think he's feeling this already. Well, 
and you're starting to think, well, it's easy to talk, it's not so easy to deliver. Johnson is backing up for all he's worth here as Joshua continues just to zero in on him, taking his time, couldn't land the right hand that time, just out of range there as well, but it's survival mode already this for Kevin Johnson, who tries to help out the shuffle, but gets a bit of a bit of a laugh from the crowd in the O2. That's where comparisons with Ali end. Well, Johnson's never easy to catch cleanly. But uh, when it reaches the stage that Joshua doesn't have to worry about what's coming back, we expect he'll just march through. At least Johnson gets some punches off here. He'll play his part uh, as long as he's in there. Joshua going to work. Once again, amazing! Right hand! Destruction he just unleashed there on Kevin Johnson. It was vicious and it was calculated. I mean, you just wonder who do we suggest? Tony Thompson, uh, Price. You know, but uh, he, he wants there. an opponent with who will get credit for beating. I mean, we knew he would beat Kevin Johnson. Okay, we didn't know we'd blast him out in two rounds. 
but he wants credit for the victories that he's going to achieve and until they step up the opposition and, and, this is, and this is it, Jim. It is a very, very small pond of heavyweights that belong in the company of Anthony Joshua right now. Yep, I agree with that, Nick. Yep, I mean, we don't want to see him overstretched. But uh, we certainly do want to see him in a, a, a match that is least competitive. And uh, we haven't seen that yet. He's far too good for the level he's been performing at. And look at the smile on his face there. I think when he came in here tonight, he had a point to make. And he made it. Said he wanted to do some damage. He absolutely destroyed Kevin Johnson, the man who's never been stopped. Absolutely breathtaking stuff there from the still unbeaten Anthony Joshua. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed the unstoppable being stop. Referee Ian John Lewis has to call a halt to the contest at one minute, 22 seconds of round number two. The streak continues for the gold medal Olympian from London, England, now 13 and 0, 13 KOs, and he is still WBC International Heavyweight Champion, the AJ from the UK. Side judges weren't needed. Anthony Joshua did it again. So let's have a look at the tally. Four first round stoppages, six now in the second, three in the third. He'll probably go back in his dressing room now and uh, put a few rounds on the pads. That's what he usually does. Well, we still have our main event to come. That all British welterweight world title fight. Kel Brook in action, defending his title against Frankie Gavin. There's Kel just warming up with Dominic Ingle, his regular trainer. Oh, that's a fantastic job Dominic Ingle has done with this fella, keeping him focused. But you get the sense after all that's happened in Kel Brook's career, inside and outside of the ring, this man has now put it all together. He gets it. The best you feel to be yet to come for Kel Brook. Camp Frankie Gavin, of course, feels very much otherwise. But this is a night where he has a lot to gain. Frankly, nothing to lose. It's a big, big step up. The bookies don't fancy him one little bit. But upsets happen all the time in this business. That is why we love it. Kel Brook, Frankie Gavin, coming next. But right now, let's go and join Ed Robinson. Well, Anthony, absolutely ruthless in there this evening. How did you enjoy that experience? I really enjoyed boxing. Training's a half part of the game, you know what I mean? I get two days to rest in between fights. I really uh, get my head down, play a bit of FIFA, chill out with the boys. And I come out here and perform in front of everyone that comes out to support me. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. It's an incredible reception in London for you. Yeah, man. You know, I've travelled around so many different uh, places under matchroom promotions, but this place is becoming like my home and it's filling out more and more every time. So shout out to everyone that's been here to support and shout out to all the new places as well. Talk us through the performance. The right hand was lo lovely landing continually on Johnson, who have never been stopped before. Yeah, but you know, this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to try and make statements. But my coach really drills me in the gym. And it's only right that the hard work pays off. You know the saying, hard work pays off. And believe me, boxing is a tough sport, so. And I want to dedicate that to Mitchell and John Ryder, my teammates as well, because that's a, a tough night tonight. It's been difficult with them both losing and then having to come in here and perform afterwards. Sorry? It must have been difficult with them both losing and then having to come yeah. in here. Because we all share a changing room, and it's an individual sport, but they're all my stable mates. But they bounce back. This is sport, you know what I mean? Johnson's going to bounce back. This is what can happen in the sport of boxing, but they're true warriors, man, so take my hat off to them. And good luck to Kelbrook and Frankie Gavin. So that's 30.